At the LA County Coroner's Office, Dr. Elizabeth Miller, a forensic anthropologist, is busy. To demonstrate her cases, Dr. Miller uses a cast of human remains. So this was an execution, back of the head. Her job is to find the answers. I know this is a female because this is why. Identifying remains and determining cause of death is never easy. Once the remains are recovered, we bring them back here and I lay them out in anatomical position. Uh, usually we don't recover entire bodies unless they are buried. Miller measures every bone and looks for clues. I look at it to determine the age, sex, ancestry, and stature or height of the individual. I then look for indications of how long that person has been dead. On TV, it seems like they solve these cases in a day. How truthful is that? That is absolute fiction. <laughs> it can take months and sometimes even years to solve a case. The LA County Coroner's Office handles about 300 cases a year of skeletal remains found in remote areas. Some of those cases are solved. Unfortunately, others remain a mystery. If we have gunshot wounds, if we have stab wounds, those will often show up on the bones. Uh, if someone is strangled, that's probably not going to show up. Double shot? or Craig Harvey is the chief of operations for the L.A. County Medical Examiner. He says the department is lucky to have Dr. Miller. Uh, there's only about 100 uh, board-certified forensic anthropologists across the United States. So not everybody has immediate access to somebody with the talents that Dr. Miller has. Dr. Miller's most famous case was back in 2005, where a horrible discovery was made in a South L.A. home. Police are trying to identify the person whose remains were found. Dr. Miller was handed the case, and after a lengthy investigation, she determined the remains were from a male African-American teenager. Based on that information, a forensic artist drew the sketch. When the boy's mother, Clea Thompson, saw the sketch on TV, she knew that was her missing 13-year-old son, Robert. As difficult as it was, it brought closure for Mrs. Thompson. Bye, Robert. God bless you. Someday I will see you in heaven. And that is exactly why Dr. Miller works so hard at a job that most would find too disturbing. She knows making an identification is crucial to a family desperate for answers. It gives a, a complete sense of closure to me and hopefully closure to families that are involved. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.